Welcome back, Outlanders. Here to watch some more Vigor. Let's do it. But while uh, Romero takes his sweet-ass time getting back from the Outlands to his shelter, I'm going to head out and grab my garbage bins. It's not as long a walk, but uh, by the time I get back, he should be home and we can jump in. He always takes a long way home. Don't you, Romero? You're a sightseer. Okay. Legacy seasons, that's what we're here for. Get as much out of these as we can. To be honest, that's probably the only reason I'm grinding so much. Maybe that's why they announced it. It's a little marketing gimmick. Wouldn't surprise me. Um... What's this? Prepper of Doomsday. The Grim Reaper. 30% off. Okay. Might have a look in the store every now and then, just in case there are plans or something that are on special, that are sitting at the top end of the Legacy Seasons. Like, for instance, if the armor plan comes up. I've got to grind out to level 40-something to get that in one of the Legacy Seasons. If it pops up in the store for cheap... Maybe I get it. But some of the like the prices. Like for example, 450 coins for a cap. I might as well pay what is it, 330 for a legacy season and uh get a bunch of other stuff. Uh what have we got here? Special offer. 270 coins. But that might be in the hunter season. That I'm currently grinding through right now so I mean every now and then I'll, I'll check the specials and we'll see I'll have a look I'll have a little look but dailies need XP better safe than sorry shoot three contact bombs placed by other outlanders and encounters I've never seen any contact bombs placed by anybody but me I might have heard a couple Oh, maybe I've, I've seen one or two, but they're very, very rare. So to give a tease of 1,000 XP for something, I mean, if you're going in with a buddy, he's going to lay them down for you. Those are the only people who are going to find those. Craft 500 ammo. I don't condone going into solos of buddies. All right. Don't condone it. Because it's a bit unfair on the rest of us. But, hey, you do you. It's your life. Do whatever you want. Craft. 500 ammo. That's easy. We'll whack that one out. Complete five shooting challenges with a gold rank. Can just redo challenges you've already done. And that's an easy 1,000 XP right there. And the crate. And the last one. Don't care about. Alright. Grunt time. I mean, I want to do... I want to take in something that stops them in their tracks. You know what I mean? They're like, doosh. So, 50 damage and a little concussion. I mean, I'm just going to take an Amosin. And I'll take in the MGV as well. Just in case I need it up close. I never got to fire it yesterday. I want to see it melt somebody. I don't think I've ever killed anyone with it. don't think I've ever had to shoot it at anybody. But uh, we'll take it in, just in case. And a little Falcon Aven. And let's go to Grodtone. Hey! How you going? What should I wear to grunt time? I'll just keep this on, eh? But, we can't have anyone see our face. Stick on the pelt mask. And I've got a sneaky suspicion. It's probably going to get bloody out there today. I don't know. I'm a bit suspicious. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord, there's something that doesn't feel right. And I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Done. 
done. Flame. Do shooting challenges when we get back. Well, I'm not going to bother uploading the actual encounter, so I'll give it a little explanation here. As you can see, I came out with bugger or waste of time even uploading it. Um, I was stuck, basically, on one end of Grondheim Valley map on the left hand southern side and had some psycho sprint past me, steer clear to clear him and then every building I went to seemed like it had been hit by some vacuum cleaner little looter like me and he just had vacuumed up everything. Could not find anything. Found a couple of scraps here and there and then just had to leave because the radiation was coming. Complete waste of time. Let's go to the next one. Okay, wasn't a complete waste. Ah, looks like I leveled up. What did I get? Ooh, a wrap for the Thompson. Don't really use the Thompson, but um, we'll whack it. Put your hand down, buddy. So get all these skins for guns, low-level guns. I mean, I suppose it makes them look pretty. Um, but I'm pretty much done rocking the Silver Pigeon. <laughs> Give me some coins! Where do I get those? Okay, that's next after this. Okay. Need to get another Legacy Season underway. Because I'll get more bang for my buck with XP. The higher I go up in the Legacy Season, the less leveling I'm going to be able to do. Because you need, like, what do I need? Another 19,000 just to get from uh, 7 to 18 you know what I mean and as you go up higher that number just grows exponentially which I don't like I don't like that they turn it into just a massive grind for higher levels don't like it I think it should I think I said this in a previous video it should be a set amount of XP especially in a game like this where I get in role-playing games as you complete higher level quests you get rewarded and you you're able to defeat because you're a higher level player you're able to defeat higher level monsters which give you higher xp and higher level uh higher level quests give you more xp you know you're not killing wolves in the forest for 2 xp anymore you're killing dragons and getting more xp so you still are able to level up but in a game like this it doesn't make sense because you don't get any extra XP being a higher level player versus a low level player. If you get what I'm saying. There's no quests to earn more XP that you wouldn't have been able to do as a lower level player. So you're still, um, each level you go up, exponentially got to get more and more XP to, to level. And you're still accumulating minimal XP. The same amount of XP you would if you were a level 1 or a level 2 or a level 3. You're not able to uh, do any quests that give you more XP. So the amount of uh, grinding you have to do to hit those higher levels is insane in a game like this. So I need another legacy. So once I get to 75 coins, I'm going to switch over, start getting some uh, value out of one of the other legacy seasons. Now the Broadland still has them stupid broken buildings. Until they fix that, I refuse to go to Broadland Bridges. Whew. Okay. Let's head to Sagbrook. Hopefully we uh, get a better location on the map. Romero, you hear me? Stop taking the bloody back roads that lead us nowhere. Okay. Head towards where there's going to be some sort of loot for us when we get there. Jeez, let's go do some shooting challenges. Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already done Mosin. Let me see. Yeah, I've already done Mosins. I haven't got gold on them all, though. I'm not even going to bother aiming down. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, there they all are. Start with the little front one here. Oh, no. Okay. Let's try again. 
gold on all. It's going to be difficult. Get that bloody number off the screen. Missed it. There's no point because I missed one. Yep, reload. Let's try that again. Maybe I'll go number three. Shoot some pumpkins. Makes it hard to line up your first shot when that number is on the screen. There we go. That's one out of the way. Oh damn, we're not going to get it. I need to adjust my sensitivity for um, aiming down sight. Or something. Say book. I've got to like uh, press the thumbstick too much to get it to go across. I need it to be a little bit more sensitive to be able to go across a bit faster. Or turn the acceleration rate down because when I, I go, damn it, I need move over there, move over there. It goes whoop, it speeds up on me too fast. I just want to, I want it to get to the next thingy without going through some stupid acceleration if I push a little bit too far on the thumbstick. So I try and hold across. It doesn't sort of move anywhere. So I'm like tap, tap, it's enough. Tapping is taking too long. I hold left on the thumbstick to strafe left with the aim down sight. And if I hold it too far, it just speeds up too fast. I need it to, like, slowly sort of go across, but not too slow, you know what I'm saying? Don't accelerate past the target, but don't have me have to hold left too far for it to move. I need it just to be a little bit more sensitive. Okay, so we got uh, some legit green coats. Which is good, but uh, then we got this guy. I wish I had a contact bomb or something I could get a lock. I mean, a barricade off a bard safe with quick. Lock. Hopefully, I'll spawn the other end of the map from the Golden God. Oh, you bastard. Someone's gonna be sitting there, guaranteed. And there. I really wish I had a radiation grenade or a um Are there spawn locations like right in here? There are aren't there, I bet ya. Where are these switches? Look at the size of this place. Anywhere. I'm just going to find the bloody thing. Which could be anywhere. It might not even be in this building. was dumb about it. It might not even be in this building.
Get out of there, someone's coming. You son of a bitch, where'd he find it? I flicked the bloody switches and he's opening it. That was the other safe that was being opened, I just realised, not this one. Maybe it's over here? Is it in here and I'm just not seeing it? You son of a... Apologize, buddy. I thought you were robbing the safe from me. I do apologize. I can get out the fuel exit. bloody thing. I thought that green coat guy that I accidentally killed was the only other one that was down there. I accidentally killed. <laughs> I thought he was trying to kill me. But I thought he was the only other one down there. And we were the ones that set off the crows. But there was some other prick sitting here camping that exit the entire time.
hoping that airdrop is a distraction for him. And the bar safe. Somebody's already been up through here. Check, make sure no one's in there collecting a cache. Other forest clearing. Yeah, he shot from the docks. He was sitting there the whole time. I reckon it was, um, Balaclava man. Scary face dude that donated to the pot, maybe. Apologise, little green coat. I thought you were, A, opening the safe, because I got a notification that someone was opening the safe, and I thought that was my safe. I'm like, no, someone's stealing it from me. Then I realised that meant someone was opening the uh, safe in the bard house where you got to wait for uh, 60 seconds or whatever after I killed him. It was too late. I also thought he was pushing me to try and kill me the way he came into that building, skulking down, crouching down, and sort of... He heard that I was through there. He could have went the other way, but he came through the building towards me. You know what I mean? It's if I've got valuable stuff in my pockets and I don't know whether you can be trusted. Unfortunately. I might shoot. I don't trust this isn't being camped either. There's some dodgy looking green coats around these days. Do I attempt to hit the house? For some blue. You've got a cassette tape, buddy. Get out. They might not have found the blue box in the shed. No. Get out. Get greedy. Damn it. I do get greedy when it comes to my loot. So I can't really blame the guy in the first map of the day that I'm not even bothering to uh, add to this video because he just hoovered up everything before I could get to it. And there was nothing for me. I can't blame him. I mean, I, I try and do the same thing. I'm a little Henry Hoover too. And to the point where I, I've got a full backpack and I'm still thinking, where can I go to get more? <laughs> Did I just get 99 metal bits? Romero likey. Cassette tape retrieved, baby. Ooh, another seasonal. 250 consumable parts looted. We'll uh, not tab over to the season challenges until we got a double XP weekend. Yeah, if the dude had a went before he came into the building or went a and just turned around and sort of went to the next building, I would have let him go. I would have let him go. Unfortunately, my version of letting him go was like uh, Arnie's version of letting Sully go in Commando. What happened to Sully? I let him go. Um, let's go to the next one. Then I'll come back and listen to that cassette. I might take a grenade in with me just in case. That is the first time I've killed anyone with that MGV. The fact that its magazine is so huge saved my bacon. Because I missed my first shots because he ran, ran across past me. And then he didn't try and shoot back, which... Again, dude, I do apologize. But uh, I, I thought you were stealing my safe from me. Oh, jeez. Look at jammers, man. Must have been a couple more in the uh, safe. Get rid of those. Where to next? 
Try and squeeze in a sag brook again. Push my luck there twice. Mm, nah. Let's go somewhere fresh, somewhere new, somewhere delicious. <laughs> like Anakin. Yeah, right. Mm, maybe get the church spawn in Felcanton. If we're going there, we need something with a scope on it. We'll go to the PH M82. It's got the concussive damage. Felcanton, here we come. Just in case, I actually do do some hunting. We're back on the old hunting cup. Oh, sniper gloves. I mean, you've got cosmetics, you might as well wear them, right? Shooting challenges. When he aims down the side, he aims to the left. I've, I've, I've realised that once before and it's really annoying. Because I get my little crosshair ready to hit the next shot. And when he re-aims back down his sight, it pulls right to the left of where I've actually put my dog. You bastard. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, I'll get my next dot ready. Boom, it pulls right over to the left. So now it's almost like I've got to, I've got to adjust, I've got to do, see that? Spit it out, Romero. I've got, basically, when I um, get my crosshair ready for the next shot, I am putting it a foot to the right of the dude's head, so that when he re-aims back down the iron sight, and it pulls to the left, it's on their head. I don't know what setting I've got on that's doing that. I don't know if it's aim assist or what. Uh, maybe. Let's turn that off. Controls. Advanced. Aim assist off. Let's see if that stops it from doing it. Nope. Still pushing way to the left. Well, you see where the crosshair is, right? Oh, I'll hit this shot. Get my crosshair ready for the next one. Yeah, it like pulls off to the left. I don't know why it's doing that, man. Well, we know it's not aim assist, but let's put that back on. Because you need some amount of bloody aim assist in this game, even if it is probably not working for me with my ping. Whack it on it. See, look at all this dead zone move exponent. Ramp up. Ramp up. <laughs> Do I turn uh, X ramp up down? Maybe. Uh, aim acceleration delay. So confusing for somebody that uh, doesn't mess with those kinds of things in any game. To try and do it in this one is so confusing. Hey, hey. that's three. Alright, we'll probably get in the front if we can do another one. I'm sure there are people that have played a lot of controller multiplayer first person shooter games in their lifetime and they've spent years perfecting those kinds of adjustments and you can't really google and look at other people's settings because their recommendations are going to be based on the years of experience that they have in the game if they're a pro at the game their sensitivity is going to be insane and they're going to be whipping around on people you know, and they'll probably suggest, oh, just, but you'll get used to it. Use these settings, and it'll make you a better player, and you'll get, eventually get used to it. And it'll just be maddening for somebody that's not used to those settings. 
the sensitivity for them they're used to it because they've been playing and perfecting those uh, settings for themselves for their style of gameplay for years and I'm sure they've adjusted it and they still do go back and forth on what they find is the best sensitivities for them probably uh, every even on a day-to-day -day basis but definitely on a week-to-week -week or a month-to-month -month basis they would change their settings because something wasn't feeling right so you can't really go on other people's recommendations it's just down to how it feels for you just getting used to those settings um, you know you just gotta tweak it yourself every now and then I think so uh, this one's the one that's gonna kill me Great daytime. I'm right on the church too, damn it. Damn. It's exactly. Oh, there's another spawn up there though, I'm pretty sure. But this is where I wanted to be. Whether I can get there before anyone else, I don't know. Com station got activated before I could even scratch my left nut. So, I think that's kind of strange. Where's that at? There is a uh, thing in here, so I've got to be careful. This one was not used. There's a blue box under the stairs. There's a blue box behind here. There might even be one in the shed. I just gotta hope no one else tries to come here. I wish I had a radiation grenade. down the hill from me. Do I try and hit the shed as well? I ever told you how I uh, go quiet when I'm nervous?
Where is the signal detector, man? Somebody's gonna head there and be very disappointed. Because I hoovered it all. A little Henry Hoover. This time it was me. Today I was the sucker. What? No. You know what I mean. That's the second time I've pulled all three blue boxes out of that location. And I was being greedy too because I could hear shots around me and I'm like, dude, you're trying to hit the third box. What are you doing? Get the hell out of there. This is going to be mega XP here. 45 glass, 44 food. All right, we'll get back to listen to this cassette now, because that was pretty sweet. No. I'm looking in here in the settings, right, because I'm like, I'm going to turn the music volume up for the when I'm loading into the encounters, the music volume will be a bit higher. And for all this time, I've been saying, Ada, can you turn your voice comms down? Please, I'm trying to, I'm trying to listen for footsteps. There's a radio voice volume. There's a radio voice volume. How come no one told me? What's up with that? There's a bloody radio voice volume. Turn that down. I'll put it down to 75. Um, hell, 70. And we'll see, because... Really, I, like, her voice comms don't tell you anything you need to know. Because it annoys me. You run near the signal detector and she goes... Um, outlanders are everywhere, and if you use a signal detector, you might be able to see where they're at or something, whatever she says. And her voice is loud, and I'm trying to listen for footsteps of people that might be around the bloody signal detector and trying to kill me when I go near it. But her voice comes over the radio <laughs> every time, like I'm some newbie and don't know what a signal detector is. So, that is good. If I can turn... Actually, I'm going to turn it right down. I don't need to hear what you've got to say, Ada, okay? Uh, the airdrop is incoming. Like, I can't hear the plane coming. I need her to say, hey, guess what? The airdrop's on its way. Or, the radiation is incoming. When you've got a bloody little dingle-dangle timer on your waist that goes... When the radiation's about to come in. I don't need to hear her tell me everything. Like, okay, Ada, I'm sorry. But, you're a bit much. So I'm going to turn your voice comms down. If I decide when I go into another encounter tomorrow and I hear what her voice comms... So I'm trying to think, is there anything that you need to hear her say? I don't. If there isn't, I'm just going to turn the radio voice volume off. And there are probably people in here that have been playing that way for years because they know that's the best way to be able to hear if someone's around the signal detector is to not have Ada tell you about the signal detector and what it does every time you go near it. I wish I had known about that setting a long time ago. Anyway. Let's, uh, what are we doing? Listen to a cassette that we found in Sagbrook. Man, that was a good run. Three boxes. Second time I've done it. Chronicles Reckoning number six. It's a cool looking cassette tape. Red Wars. Let's give it a listen. I just went out to 
I find some supplies and medicine. It, it, it took a while until I had everything. Around five hours. And then, then I come back to find them like this, motionless. Blood everywhere. Three shells on the ground. And I wasn't there. I wasn't there to protect them. I failed them. My family. Only thing I had in this whole fucking world. And I, I failed them. Jeez, that one was pretty heavy. That would suck. Alright, let's lighten the mood a bit. Knock out some shooting range challenges, and I think that's going to be it for the day. Because, um, I don't know if I'm going to do any better than that. What just happened with those last couple of runs, it's pretty awesome. Knock out these gold shooting challenges. Should we go? Should we stick with the uh, Mosin and try to go for number five? Might as well. Yeah, I'm not going to do any better than what just happened today, man. What are you serious? What? Body shot? Yeah, well, I, well, I'm not going to do any better than what happened the last two raids. Oh, you bastard. Give me some gold ones. Come on. This one looks pretty easy. I just gotta time this right. Body shot my backside. Yeah, started off slow. Day started off slow. Ran into a little hoover. But then we come in as a hoover. Sometimes you're the dust, sometimes you're the hoover. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ben? It's gonna go down. Like yeah, this one's all about timing, and I'm gonna get it. It's just I'm gonna pick the right one to shoot at to, for the start. This one, here we go, come on. Right, next. You bastard. Come on. I hate that it pulls to the left when I, when I aim down something. Nah, that's not going to be the right guy. I go next. Did I freaking... I, I, problem is, uh, this I can't see where it shoots. There you son of a... I need bloody binoculars. I need a scope. Downside of this bloody motor. Yeah, and it's gonna go down, and it's gonna take a while to come back up. Still good enough for gold, I'll take it. Collapse, thank you. Uh machine gun. RPK. I don't know about this man. Look at this crap! I mean, it's got too much recoil. What am I shooting at? Oh, great. Yeah, the road signs are very destructible. Yeah, no, nah, thanks. All right, pick a different gun. Pick a different gun.
different gun. Pick a different gun. Come on, I don't want to end the day with this rubbish. <laughs> okay, it's been a good day. Not even enough for a medal. Not even enough for a medal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a good day. Don't ruin it with this bloody nonsense. Come on. All right, no. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I could be here for the next 10 minutes and no one wants to sit through that crap. So, uh, <laughs> join me in the Outlands tomorrow when I try and get some more loot, some more cassette tapes. Hopefully not kill any poor defenseless little green coat. Um, just don't, if, tip to any green coats out there okay if you are gonna push me and you're not a threat just give a little wave first um, even even then if you're sitting on top of something where I think you might shoot me in the head while I'm trying to open it then I'll probably still shoot you like yesterday but anyway that's gonna do it that was a pretty good day did I say that already yeah so I'm going to go knock out the rest of these gold shooting range challenges. What do I need? One more? I'll let you know tomorrow how it went. One more? No, hang on. Edit that out. Edit all that stuff out, Romero. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Just give me one more. Just give me a bloody decent gun. Look, that's a good gun, but the fact that it expects you to hit... Come on. Silver? Are you serious? No. What do you think I'm a cyborg? Thank you. Jeez, man. I don't have a Cronus. Alright. Finally. Got it done. Persistence pays off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow in the Outlands.